I hope you're hungry for nothing. <laughs> Ah, oh, the Snyder cultists. They're so fucking stupid. So I did a video covering this with David Goyer talking about um, Man of Steel and how Warner Brothers rushed to be like the MCU. And he went on to further expand. Uh, here's what he had to say. I remember at what point the person running Warner Brothers at the time had this release that pitched the next 20 movies over the next 10 years, but none of them had been written yet. And it was crazy how much architecture was built on air. This is not how you build a house. Now, of course, hindsight is 2020, and I wish David Goyer, Zack Snyder would have fucking spoke up from the very beginning and be like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. All right, all right. You want us to be part of this? All right, then give us the time to build this house and let's make sure that we can walk before we can run and build up Henry Cavill Superman and build up the foundation that we started in Man of Steel instead of shoehorning in Ben Affleck's Batman, Cyborg, The Flash, One Woman and expecting this movie to make a billion gazillion fucking dollars when you did not put in any of the work like Kevin Feige did. Say what you will about the MCU, but they built their house. They built the foundation. They built the trust from the general audience instead of wanting billion dollars easily. 700 billion and a trillion 300 million and this is the problem that snyder cultists and i say snyder cultists not dc fans not normal Zack snyder fans like myself because we understand the situation we understand like hey we may love man of steel we may love bvs some more than others we definitely love Zack snyder's just league but by the time that movie came out it was game over man of steel the common, the common denominator with Zack Snyder's DCEU movies was what? It had a great opening weekend, but then the second weekend, it faltered, right? Man of Steel, great opening weekend. Second weekend, it faltered. BVS, great opening weekend. Second weekend, it faltered. Suicide Squad, great opening weekend. Second weekend, it faltered. Now, why is that? Why is that? You have to ask yourself why. I'll tell you why. It's because, the, it's because of the general audience. They did not like what Warner Brothers, Zack Snyder, and his creative and his creative decisions were doing. They didn't enjoy it as much as we liked, for the most part, what Zack Snyder was doing. The most important thing is everyone else was, was just like, "Nah, I'm good. I'm not really feeling this at all. I love what Kevin Feige is doing, so I'm just gonna put my money over the, to the MCU." And all these people, nah, I'm good. And that's literally the Snyder cultist every day. Hashtagging. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Hashtag release the air cut. Hashtag sell Zack Snyder's Just League to Netflix. Um, and I'm just like, these cultists, like, they're so stupid. And it's like, it's literally embarrassing to watch these people, these grown ass people, men and women, on Twitter begging Warner Brothers. You're begging a studio that you fucking hate. Think about that. You're begging Warner Brothers, a studio that you despise to sell off their most iconic IP to Netflix, which Netflix has its own problems. Netflix, <laughs> Netflix are in debt as well. And Zack Snyder is handling his own IP with Rebel Moon. And we don't know if Rebel Moon is going to be a huge success. So we have to wait and see how that turns out. But these people, like, they don't understand it. They don't get it. And the Snyderverse is not an IP. Do you understand? Let me say that one more time. The Snyderverse is not an IP. What you're asking Warner Brothers is to sell their entire catalog of DC characters of DC characters, the, their most valuable IP, the most valuable brand in the world. I would argue more popular than the MCU. And you want them to sell it off to, fuck, to fucking Netflix. For what? A tiny minority can see Zack Snyder's story be concluded? Are you fucking retarded? Are you that fucking dense? They really are that stupid. Again, not DC fans, 
not normal Zack Snyder fans like myself, the Snyder cultists. They don't like the, it's a, like it's unbelievable how stupid and idiotic and imbecilic these people are. Like it needs to be studied. <laughs> like, it really does. Like I'm laughing because it's so embarrassing and they really think they can do it. Like everyone has moved on. Everyone has moved on. Snyder has moved on. Warner Brothers has moved on. James Gunn is not going to restore the fucking Snyderverse because James Gunn has one job is to gain back the trust of the general audience who said bye bye to the Snyderverse years ago, years ago. All these movies that are flopping, they are part of the DCEU. So what makes you think in any fucking multiverse that Warner Brothers is, is going to hand Zack Snyder $400 million, which they don't have, by the way, because they're, they're in debt right now, to be like, you know what, Zack? <laughs> we were wrong. Here you go, buddy, buddy boy, pal. Finish off your story that only 10 people are going to fucking watch or pay in the movie theaters. There you go. That's a smart, that's a smart business plan, huh? You fucking dumbasses. Oh, these people just make me sick to my stomach, bro. Like, it's, it's literally insane. It's insane. The Snyderverse will return. No, bro, it's not returning. It's not returning. Zack Snyder's Justice League, that was Zack Snyder literally saying goodbye to the fan base. And all due respect to Zack Snyder, but the man doesn't have the fucking balls to tell his fan base, hey guys, it's over. I'm not coming back, but stick with me over to Netflix with Rebel Moon, where I will give you the Snyderverse over there. It's not going to be DC anymore, but it's going to be my own universe. And guess what, Zach? I will be there. Even though it's going to be Star Wars light, I don't care because at the end of the day, I'm hoping that Zack Snyder delivers, delivers a cohesive, brilliant universe. And I hope, and I hope Rebel Moon completely blows me away. So I will be supporting Zack. But these cultists, they don't care. They don't care about Rebel Moon. They don't care. All they care about is Zack Snyder DC. Bring back Zack Snyder Snyderverse. <laughs> Hashtag so just link to Netflix. <laughs> How much of a dumbass am I? Huh? <laughs> like, oh my God. It's like, it, it's, it's embarrassing. It really is embarrassing. It, it, it's embarrassing for Zack Snyder. It's embarrassing for us DC fans that make us look bad. And even people who who would love Zack Snyder, I see them just be like, oh my God, listen, I love Zack Snyder, but God damn, these people like, like, like they, like these cultists are so bad. They make Zack Snyder fans not want to be Zack Snyder fans anymore. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with Zack Snyder, but it's th these cult fan base that are just eroding any type of love and just, and, and just loyalty to this man because these cultists are insane and they make us normal DC fans look bad. They make us look bad. <laughs> That's the thing. It's, it's, it, like it is so bad. It's so horrible. And yes, Warner Brothers are, par are partially to blame. Absolutely. But Zack Snyder is also partially to blame because he made the movie that he wanted to make. And kudos to Warner Brothers for being like, you know what? We're going to step back and we're going to let Zack Snyder direct Man of Steel without any studio interference. I will give Warner Brothers credit when the credit is due because Christopher Nolan told Warner Brothers, hey, Zack Snyder has got this. Trust the man. Hand him the keys to the kingdom and let's see what shakes out of it. And kudos to Warner Brothers. They were like, all right, Zack, here you go. Here are the keys. Do your Superman. We trust your vision. We will not interfere. And what happened? I love Man of Steel. I love Man of Steel. But when it was released, what happened? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. It had what we call a mixed reception. Some people loved it, like myself. Some people hated it. And overall, the general consensus was meh. It was meh. It was met with a meh reaction. Like, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. Uh, it, it was it was fine and considering you're starting out a dc universe or hoping to start out a dc universe uh, it just began with a with a whimper instead of a bang 
It wasn't Iron Man. When, when Iron Man first came out, we were like, holy fucking shit. This came out of nowhere. And that's the reception that Warner Brothers was hoping to have with Man of Steel. And it didn't happen. Now, Warner Brothers, to their discredit, just completely just just fumbled any type of goodwill any type of trust they had with Zack Snyder and they overcorrected everything and that's where we have the mess that we're in right now with the DCEU just completely fumbling and tumbling and now we're in this reboot that hopefully James Gunn can fix this shit because guess what the DCEU Snyderverse that ship has sank it's dead and now starting 2025 we need to fucking build the house that David Goyer, Zack Snyder, and Warner Brothers should have done in the fucking first place. It is what it is. To put all the blame on Warner Brothers is stupid. To put all the blame on Zack Snyder is stupid. Both parties have a part to play in this blame game. It is what it is. And that's the truth. So that's going to be it. Hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, TikTok. This is Ash Chicks. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think, Troll, what happened to you, huh? I thought you were a Zack Snyder fan, huh? And now you betrayed us. How could you leave us, huh? I thought you were part of the cult like the rest of us. I'm going to hashtag sell so Zack Snyder's Justice League to Netflix because I'm a fucking loser. Or are you like Truth? I completely understand where you're coming from, and I agree. Um, it's just it was just a combination of you know bad creative choices, bad executive choices, and you know it all led down to this. But hey, what do they always say? Everything happens for a reason. And maybe the reason was James Gunn to come in and start a DC Cinematic Universe that DC fans deserve. We deserve a great cinematic universe like the Marvel fans have had a great cinematic universe and still could have if they fixed their shit over there too. So I'm rooting for James Gunn because I want this fucking guy to succeed. Because I'm tired of having bad DC movies. I'm tired of having a DC universe that is so overstuffed, so overcomplicated, and so divisive. We deserve a DCU with all these great characters to be at the forefront of great comic book content. Can James Gunn do it? I don't know. But I'm going to fucking cheer the guy on. Because he's the fucking captain of the plane. He's flying this bitch. And I don't want that fucking plane to crash. Fucking Snyder cultist douchebags. <laughs> Love you all. Stay safe. Truth. Uh, oh, 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 two fingers instead of three. Oh, oh. Out. Ah!